the drinks trolley of shame <laughs> wanders past. Oh. And uh, oh. Sister Susie grabs what from the top shelf there? Well, it's very uh, sunny today, so it feels like spring. So I've grabbed a bottle of gin. Mm. And if you want to venture um, from your norm, Matt, I'd recommend Rock Rose. It's very delicious from Scotland. Excellent okay. in a gin and tonic. Oh, lovely. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Susie, live from the pub where she's producing the show. Today's confession comes from Bob. Uh, who says, uh, Simon and the crew, I've lived... What certificate do we have with this? Uh, PG, mm. probably. Yeah. I've lived with you as my soundtrack for years, and I'm glad I found you skulking around on Greatest Hits Radio. Skulking? Surely artistically <laughs> skulking. creating a drive time. Yeah, excellence. So. I think was mm -hmm. the phrase you're looking for. It's a good job, too, as I caught myself behaving a little less than honourably a few months ago and thought I should fess up. I have a friend, Thelma. Yeah, right. She's just managed to get a divorce from her obnoxious husband, Sebastian. <laughs> right. Oh, dear. Names have been changed. Of course they have. Sebastian is a loathsome character oh, right. who behaved abysmally throughout the last few years of their marriage and has shown a complete lack of dignity, empathy and brain power during the divorce. Callous, greedy, manipulative are the more positive traits he has. If you can think of the person in your life that you think the lowest of and then think a little bit less... <laughs> Oh, wow. Less, uh, further down, even less, <laughs> he's about there. Okay. Oh, dear. I'm fiercely protective of my friends, and although I offer support and comfort, there was no way I could redress the balance in this case. Until a couple of months ago, when the planets aligned, and I'm afraid to say the devil stepped in. Oh, I spent another evening comforting Thelma. <laughs> oh, wow. She needed a lot of comfort. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And listening to the astounding stories of her husband's stupidity, I left there in the dark to get home. The rain was drizzling and the wind was blowing, proper miserable weather. I had to get two buses and there was a gap in distance and time between them. I was approaching a small business premises and there was a large van having some difficulty trying to reverse into the entrance between two rather substantial pillars. They were very hesitant, perhaps due to the inclement weather in their reversing, and so, as I tend to do in this sort of situation, I stepped up to help and was all set to guide the driver safely in. However, as I trotted forward to help, I recognised the logo on the side of the van. Uh. It was Sebastian's company. I got a brief <laughs> glimpse of the driver, and it was Sebastian himself. Oh, wow. oh my. And just like that, the devil popped up and a plot formed and was put in for immediate action. So you can blame everything on the devil. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. of the foul weather, my hood was up, eliminating any chance of my being recognised. I stood to one side and was calling to the driver through the open window. Yeah, a bit more, a bit more, plenty of room. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, still loads of room. He eased forward to straighten up a bit and then started reversing and I guided him again. Yeah. Straight back, yeah, straight back, Brilly. Keep it coming. You've got over a yard on this side. Foot down, loads of room, loads of room. Father <laughs> uh -huh. Simon, you know that sound of metal being dragged across stonework? That agonizing sound? That very expensive repairs into four figures sound? Uh -huh. The heart stopping, you've got to be kidding sound? Uh -huh. Well, that one. Not a sound that usually brings me joy, but here I made an exception. Oh dear, it seems I have misjudged the space available and he had seriously scraped at least two panels of his van. Oh dear. It looked a wreck. Uh-oh. He dropped out of his cab, ran to the back of the vehicle to inspect the damage, and I skippity hopped away into the dark with a sense of wicked calm, leaving him screaming in disbelief. And so clearly I'm asking forgiveness from everyone who's had to listen to Sebastian's unlikely story of the unhelpful Samaritan, the person at his insurance company, assuming he had one, who I'm sure I had to listen to his ranting, and of course the company, whose pillars were a little bit scuffed, but with no structural damage. Would I do it again? Hell yes. Karma may be slow, <laughs> right. but she is thorough. I've turned to Thelma, I've turned Thelma into a greatest hits listener. So this is where Bob is getting... <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've turned Thilma into, into a greatest hits listener and she will probably recognise her role in this and it might even afford her some closure on the matter. I sit awaiting your judgement. Fabulous show, keep up the good work, says Bob, just making... Yeah, it, just lathering it on a little more. absolutely sure, you know, before we get desperate. So, 
I well, it's interesting. I think we might have all done the same. If you can find the person who you are deeply scornful of, mm. who is reversing into a tricky area, I don't know what would you have done. Let's check in with Sister Susie because she's a pillar of responsibility. There she is, and she seems yes. to have disappeared. <laughs> ah. Well, she's in the pub. And, Enjoying the gin and tonic. And, yes, but I, no, actually she has had a few problems with her line today. Okay. So I'm going to say on behalf of Susie that she is not going to forgive. Oh, really? Because it was irresponsible behaviour. Um, and that's I might be completely wrong. Do you think she would? I, I, she normally does say not forgiven because of her... Um, her Legal morals. Role. Yeah, morals are far higher than mine. That's true. So uh, let's let's imagine that Susie has said yes. Maybe it was the gin and tonic. <laughs> Maybe, that, uh, yeah. Uh, they did. A brother from another gutter. Uh, I am going to forgive. And, I mean, I, I obviously we've only got Bob's word on uh, whether Sebastian is this loathsome individual. But I choose to believe Bob. Yes. Uh, and that uh, Sebastian is deserving of this uh, dreadful thing happening. And also, it's up to you. Sebastian to use your mirrors yes when you're learning how to drive your van should have learned to use your mirrors sunshine uh, so for that reason I'm going to forgive even though he's not showing any remorse he's not at all so uh, six